all right all right i know you are waiting for those juicy javascript attacks that we can perform with mitm proxy but before i jump into that we must learn one final and a very important concept that is learning how to create python scripts and using it with mitm proxy this will give us a lot more power and flexibility in executing our attacks the only prerequisite is that you must know elementary python like functions syntaxes etc if you know then it's well and good but if you don't don't worry you'll still get what i'm doing in this video anyways without any further ado let's jump right into action all right so the first step is to go ahead and connect to the wi-fi network over which you want to perform the attack as you can see i have already connected now in, in here if i hit ls you can see those three files of mitm proxy now the first step as usual is to become the man in the middle for that we can use either etacap betacap app spoof anything you want for the purpose of this video we are going to be using etacap but the command line mode of etacap so if you don't know how to use it well you can learn it here so type etacap space hyphen capital t q to say that we are going to use the command line space hyphen capital m space arp for app spoofing space then we're going to put three slashes and then one more three slashes now in place of the first three slashes we're going to put the victim's ip address so i'll go ahead and check the victim's ip address on the right hand side you can see now i'll go to the settings and as you can see the victim's ip address is right over there which is 10 6 and then the gateway or the router's ip address is put here which is 10 6 well there is a mistake in the victim's ip address it has to be 225 instead of 255 so let me correct that cool so let's just understand this particular command again we're gonna type etacap space hyphen capital tq to say that hey we are using command line mode then hyphen capital m art for our spoofing and here you're gonna type the victim's ip address and this is the router or the gateway's ip address and then you hit enter and as you can see here the app spoofing is done all right so now we're gonna open a new terminal and here we're gonna modify the ip tables as done in the previous video so let's go ahead and type ip tables so it's ip tables space hyphen t nat then we're gonna add the chain pre-routing and the protocol used is tcp and then we're gonna redirect all the requests that is coming at destination port 80 to port 8080 where our MITM proxies will run now if I were to hit enter as you can see the IP tables have been added now if I just list the IP tables you will see that the redirect rule has been applied right over there cool now we are all set all we need to do is to fire up the MITM proxy but before we do that we need to create a python script which with, with which we can use the mitm proxy or mitm dump so for that i'll create a file which is script.py and for that i'll be using the vi text editor all right so we are inside the script.py file so the first line is to tell this particular file which kind of python interpreter that we are using so for that we'll be typing hashtag exclamation which is called a shibang then we are going to type the file where this python interpreter is located which is user bin python you can find this particular directory by just typing which python and you will find this particular file cool now we need to import mitm proxy so for that type import mitm proxy and then afterwards we're gonna define a function which is response so for that type def space response which takes a parameter flow and then for the sake of this video i'm just gonna print the contents of the response in a neat way so let me just quickly write a print method which is gonna print the contents of the flow real quick As you can see the content of the response will be printed to the screen when we run it with mitm dump so let's just save this file and then go back to the screen and here let's run mitm dump 
so for that type dot forward slash mitm dump space hyphen s and the path where the script is located and as soon as hit enter as you can see everything is running fine now let's go ahead and do something in the victims page on the right hand side the victim is going to click on the first link and it is opening that particular page and on the left hand side you can see we just got the response that we wanted to print and that has been printed onto the screen and you can clearly see contents of the flow and beneath that the response in byte string that is the reason why we have a b before that string which represents that it is a byte string cool let me just quickly cancel this and we are gonna write some advanced scripts now so let me navigate back to script.py and here let me modify this response function let me just go ahead and delete the printf because we don't we don't need this anymore rather we're gonna write a simple alert that will alert something when the user clicks on any http link so let me just quickly go ahead and delete this now under the response function we're gonna write flow dot response dot content equals to flow dot response dot content dot replace and what we're gonna replace we're gonna replace slash body as we saw in the previous video with slash body then the script that we want to execute whenever the user clicks on any link which is http and not https and here for the purpose of this video now to keep it short i'll be simply creating a script that shows an alert box with some text return inside it i'll explain what this particular code does but for the purpose of this video you just follow along and you will get to know cool so what it does is it basically fetches the content response content and whenever it finds this slash body inside that response content it's just going to replace that with slash body then the script that we wrote just right there which is an alert script cool so having understood that what we need to do is to save this for that i'll be typing escape and then call and wq to save and write to the file and then we are going to once again use mitm dump and load that script and as you can see the script has been loaded successfully and the proxy is running on ad ad and now if i reload this page you can see that the alert box has appeared isn't that amazing we now learned how we can create custom scripts using python for mitm proxy and now from the next video onwards i promise we are going to learn some juicy attacks and custom scripts will also be used there as well and that is the reason why i felt the urge to create this video in order to explain that you can also create some custom scripts using python for mitm proxy